Good evening, and this screencast is from Katie Sauer. Today I'm going to show you IXL for English Language and Language Arts. I teach English composition for 8th grade with primarily English language learners as the majority population. I'm currently already signed in to IXL for English Language Arts. Um, this is a website that you must pay for, and signing up is actually fairly easy. At first, I'm going to show you the teacher side of things. So when you click on the website, when you get in, you're actually going to see all grade levels. For my students, of course, I go down to the 8th grade level. The benefits of this area are because you can actually see... Um, multiple grade levels so if your students are not learning at grade level with the core you can actually have them use um, grade levels that are lower than where they are currently learning um, it starts at the very lowest level and you can see all the different types that um, students can access again I will go up to eighth grade I already have done some of these as a student so when I click on one as a teacher actually this seems yep this gives me an example of what my students would see as a teacher so I this is an example you can see you would slide the comma where it belongs um, and then hit submit Actually, it tells me that I need two commas. I guess I should read the directions. Um, I'll also point out a time that students might get something wrong. Um, this is a mistake timeline. So say I forget one. I could hit submit. Of course, it would warn me. Um, but it gives especially um, a lesson for the students to see examples. It tells me what, how to solve one and what the sentence would be with the first two items. And it shows um, where I went wrong as a student. Once I hit got it, I would move on to the next question. Um, My points go up accordingly over here. You can see that IXL is based in um, an algorithm that gives students the possibility to lose and gain points accordingly. So the more I get right, the harder my questions are. And the more I struggle in an area, the more common they are to show up. On the teacher end, you can see that I've signed up with all of my settings. I'm going to go I'm going to go into the analytics area. I can see where my students have answered. I get graphs. I can have a student quick view. And it will tell me where they're succeeding as well as how much time they've spent in an area. Now with each student, um, I actually have to enter each student individually. Um, I can then create their own passwords. So I could say, add a student. It creates 
their own username when I hit save. So that is how it would tell me um, I would have to give the students their own username and then give them a password. If I go, um, I can see the skills we want to focus on, the skills that have been practiced, and it gives me a status. Now each student, I'm going to go to the student side now, Um, each student would have their own uh, list of things and I would give them a lesson to work on or lessons to focus on that day. Remember this is specifically for grammar so I would focus on areas where they could succeed um, and push beyond their proximal development zone. Um, each end of the the unit does have a review. It has a uh, a test, if you will, for the students to improve on. So I've already done the comma review for this area. Um, I would go on to other areas and I showed you one of those responses. The detriments to this would probably be, the biggest detriment would be the cost. It costs $250 per year for one class of 25 students. Um, for a class of 100 students, which is what I have, it's close to $1,000. Um, so obviously the districts would have to look into buying this on a large scale if they chose to do it that way. As a student, I can see my own progress. I can see what I've practiced on, when I've practiced, and what I need to do for the next day. Students would work on the areas either subscribed to by the teacher, but they can work on them in any area, adding to the personalization of each area. The benefits to this, I also can see where I struggle. Um, I don't struggle with grammar, so that's probably why this student didn't seem to have struggling areas. Um, overall, the IXL program gives students ways to work on grammar. Areas I would improve would be to add to personalization, make the sentences more um, applicable to the interest in the students, and I would also work on the areas of cost, it seem it doesn't seem very cost effective for some um, low income districts.